Hey everybody, Common Villager here. Welcome back to Dagger Fall Unity. We're here in the town of Shalgora, in the Shalgora region. We are on our way, all the way across the Iliac Bay, all the way to the region of Abibon Gorum, which is going to be our permanent resting living place although I'm not saying we're just going to stay here the whole time and not go anywhere else in Daggerfall but or in uh, anyway this area of Tamriel anyway uh, but that is our goal that is our so called destiny is to become a permanent resident here at Abiba Abibon Gora if you could pronounce that correctly I guess I might live at the capital city wherever the nightly order is is probably where I will probably uh, get established for sure or at least eventually get a house all that good stuff but for now though we are in the middle of traveling to uh, that location so let's uh, highlight the next region over which is Auntie Claire because I do kind of want to follow the Iliac Bay as much as possible. We had spent some time here at Anticlair, and I'm thinking about maybe stopping by a dungeon, because we haven't done any dungeon crawling in a little bit. Last episode, I mainly just did a lot of traveling, so anyway, let's get to it. We'll uh, speed it up a little bit and be on our way to the Yedon Ness, which is uh, way over in the next uh, region, but we'll just fall through the map. <laughs> oh man, come on game, don't do this to me already. Is it me, or is it have I... Ugh, I don't know. Anyway. Let's do this once again. I was looking up hotkeys for uh, this... Uh, traveling options mod whatever it's called travel options but it works with another mod that has roads and I think you're supposed to press F but the only problem with F is that it brings up my sword so that's not gonna work so well so I don't have that I did have that mod but I in, uninstalled quite a few different mods because I thought they were clashing with other mods which is uh, kind of sad because uh, some of the mods are actually pretty cool but I, I just I'm not that great at modding uh, Daggerfall Unity. I need to maybe look up a guide on how to uh, mod the game properly, but anyway. To the nest. The nest awaits us. But I have definitely had fun doing this series. I really have not played Daggerfall on one character this much. I usually get bored and try to make another character more suitable to uh, what I want out of a character, but I usually don't play with them long because I still haven't found a like real satisfactory character. I do like, as I've played a lot in my uh, other Elder Scrolls games, I like characters who like to use who uh, are skilled in magic for the most part. But, I mean, I do eventually want to broaden my horizon in the future. I definitely do want to come back to this game in the future after this series is finally over. But I do not uh, intend to end it anytime soon. As long as it's, uh, as long as my viewers still like watching it. And it seems to still get a decent amount of attention, so it's going to still be up on my channel. But just saying that I want to continue this uh, uh, throughout the future of my channel. Because Daggerfall is, is really big. There's a lot to do. A lot of uh, options, a lot of choices you can make. So I definitely want to continue that if possible. Anticlair, we are actually in Anticlair at this moment. We are getting closer to the Yidon Nest, 
where we're going to do a little bit of dungeon crawling today. Get some loot. Hopefully find something decent and not too many strong monsters that want to tear our face off. Which does happen in Daggerfall for sure. Anyway, it is getting dark. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if there's any towns nearby, is there? Let's check. There is one over here, but before we get to Yidon's nest, there's really nothing. So anyway, let's just try to finish the journey. We're almost there anyway. Actually, real quick, like, let's heal up again and save just in case we find another hole of doom in the map of, of the, you know, falling through the map and everything, which is... uh seems to be something I do a lot in this game. I keep falling through the map. I'm not sure exactly if it's because I'm using a older version of uh... Oh. Okay. Hello there. Oop. I just like ran right into this town. Okay. Seems to be a regular town. I was almost to... Yidon's nest, but you know what? We've been doing quite a bit of traveling. Let's get us some lodging. Maybe have a glass of wine to calm my nerves a little bit. Sounds like something that I could do. Very good, and now we will get our room. Very nice. Let's rest. Uh, we'll rest a while and then I'll stop it where I want it. Okay, right about there will work. We're good and rested now. Everything's fine. We're just trying to get to our destination, but no need to get in such a hurry. We don't have any quest lines to worry about right now. We're just trying to have a little bit of Daggerfall fun and do some dungeon crawling. All that fun Daggerfall stuff. Actually, I need to be going east. So let's go this way through town real quick. Ah, oh, good old Daggerfall. Man, I can never stop playing this game. I remember when I first started playing Daggerfall, I didn't know much about it. And I had, uh, of course... Ran into Zerk Sahakaran's channel and he his videos had definitely helped me understand how to play. And I've been enjoying the game ever since then. Especially since uh, I also discovered the Unity uh, engine for Daggerfall. You know, the Daggerfall Unity. Anyway, try to explain myself and get tongue-tied sometimes. So... We're very close to the nest, so we might as well get some dungeon crawling in. Try to get some loot in our cart. Okay, we're here, but where is the mound or whatever? It looks like we're going to have to search for a mound this time, and I think it's over here. Here it is, the infamous dungeon mound. Okay, let's uh, save under dungeon. Very good, and we'll go ahead and come in here. Okay. Alrighty, let's see here. Set our anchor. Let's try to rest. We can't rest because there's enemies nearby. Aha! It is you again. No. It can't be because I killed your partner. Uh, oh, hello there. A sneaky one, are we? Oh, really? Mind trying that again? No, you don't. You're pretty tough. You must be more than just a burglar. Yeah. Oh, you're just a burglar. 
burglar, burglar, burglar. Okay. Uh, Elven brigandine with cells would be kind of valuable. Steel, yeah, why not? And I'll take the mummy wrappings and the gold pieces. Everything else can stay on her corpse. Helm, short bow, gold. I'll take the gold. Well, you know what? We're going to go back to our wagon real quick anyway. We'll just grab it all. If we can actually rest. But we'll be by the wagon anyway, so. Let's uh, go over here and we will do that. Unload. Okay. Very good. Let's try to rest this time. Rest until healed. Very nice. Okay, I do hear a draft in here. But I'm not sure where the draft is coming from. But there may be a secret door here somewhere. I Well, I thought anyway. Okay, something is suspicious here. I don't know, I hear it, but I don't see it. Or, yeah, it may just be a draft. There is a mod for uh, drafty secret doors, but that doesn't seem to be the case in, in this uh, this time anyway. Yes, let's go this way and just a room, I guess. But like I said, I just want to get a little dungeon crawling out of the way. Just a bone, I guess. Uh, maybe a skeleton lost his bone, his shin, or something, whatever. Lower leg. Oh, it was a skeleton. Ah, oh, he scared the crud out of me. No. No. Uh-uh. I'm not scared of you. Okay. You can keep the leather. I don't want the leather. Okay. Let's see. Let's turn up my volume real quick. Just a second here. There we go. Was down a little bit lower than I normally have it. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you today? Probably not doing as good as you were before I entered the room, right? You probably thought I'd be just an unsuspecting person, but I am Merrick, and I'm not bad with my sword. I actually got a big old dwarven broadsword, so of course I'm prepared for battle. Anyway, I heard a door open, but I don't know where it came from. I do remember sort of this dungeon, but I don't remember exactly what the reason was for me coming here. Looks like there would be a secret here. A flaming skull. Two candles. But apparently nothing, I guess. Alrighty. So. Have I gone down this way? It doesn't look like I have. Okay. Oh, it's a harpy. Lovely. Good thing I got a weapon I can use against it. I remember all the times I would run into a harpy and I couldn't defeat it because I did not have the correct weapon type. But this time I do. No treasure to be found here. All 
already. Okay. Oh, yes, there is a secret here this time, and a burglar. You're not that special. Why should I use my dwarven broadsword on you? When I could just clobber you with my claymore. I don't know why I take all this clothing. I'll take that, that, and that. There we go. Very, very good. There's somebody down there, but they don't see me yet. Oh, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, it's a spider. Did you hang the human up spider with your webbings or whatever you do with your webbings? Your string, your spider web. Looks like a rope, though, so apparently not. A very bad predicament for this foolish person who decided to enter in this place. Heal up a bit. Hello. Hmm, maybe I should try sneaking up on him. You gotta admit I was almost on ya. This must be a den of burglars. Ooh, uh, loincloth. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> I'm fine. Let's see. Yeah. Don't want any more of your stuff. I hear spider. Uh, are you down here? Oh, something's down there. Uh, okay. A coffin over here, and... Oh, an elevator, huh? Okay, that brings that up. But before we go down... There's still quite a bit to explore. That lock has nothing to fear for me. Well, we'll see about that. Well, that's a tough lock, I would say. There we go. All that for nothing, come on. I hear creatures in the walls, but uh, no secret door to be found there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I hear another draft. Hello, Spidey. Okay, another coffin room, I guess you could say. I just rest up real quick just to top up everything. Okay, that just goes back around. Okay, yeah. Alright, I see. Oh, so now I don't have to jump over that. I could just go around this way and go around. Okay, yeah. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's see what's around this corner over here. Okay, I probably did a rescue mission here because I remember going into one of these little secret rooms well not really secret but just one of these little small rooms that they used to put their prisoners in your poison doesn't work on me spider it hurts but it doesn't work on me Right, rest up again after that. Okay, no loot to be found, but oh well. K 
can't get it all there will always be loot well I guess why not let's go down the hatch here goes nothing I didn't even save oh well okay oh hello bat Okay, giant bat is dead. Okay. I keep hearing the draft, but I'm not sure where it's coming from. Up oh, another secret. Ooh, secret's all right. Oh, nothing in that one. Okay, well. Nothing in that one, too? Well, I, okay, I don't understand that, but whatever. More spiders. Spiders, burglars, and skeletons. Die now. There we go. Okay. And nothing here. Well... What else could we do? Uh, let's see. We came down from that way. There's a door over here. Alrighty. Oh, wow. Hmm. Can I climb up here? I think I know where that goes to, actually. Okay, let's see here. Well, it looks like we're just going to go back up. So, here we go. Alright, all the way back up. And now, let's look at the map. So, okay, there's that. Okay, according to the map, it looks like that we might not have uh, came over here yet to the end of the hallway. So let's turn around and we'll go all the way over here to where that's at. More bones on the floor. I hear a rat. There's a stairway leading up that way. And I hear another skeleton. He doesn't even see me. Oh, you're getting hits on me. What? Oh, because I'm in sneak. No wonder. My bad. Let's see here. Let's heal up a bit. Uh, let's keep my sword out, please. There we go. You can have your sandals, skeleton. I don't want them. Okay, let's see here. Okay. We came from that way, so let's go upstairs now. Okay, that leads that way. Okay, so what's in here? A bat. Come on, there we go. Already. Harpy! And I cannot kill.
kill it with that weapon. Oh, I think if I go into uh, info, no, dialogue mode, I can actually attempt to talk to it. Oh, you see a harpy, but it doesn't, uh, I think that might be part of a mod. Yeah. Can I steal from the harpy? No. There's also grab mode. We'll just stay on dialogue mode and destroy it. Why not? Okay. You pluck your arrows from the corpse. Okay. Well. So apparently I got something from that. I didn't even have arrows. But anyway. Hmm. What's over here? Ah, uh, yeah. Another lock that doesn't fear me, huh? I'll see about that one. As I punch and kick the door, blooding my knuckles and making my foot sore. Come on. Some tough locks here, all the burglars and harpies and skeletons and all the bunch hang out at. Uh, I do hear another harpy. Another empty loot bag or whatever you want to call it. Got some tongs here. I guess maybe they were torturing the victim with hot tongs or something. Sounds very sinister and evil. Okay. I still got a good amount of magicka, but I just want to maybe get over here and rest. Yeah, here we go. Up, oh, is it that harpy? Yep, it is. We've got a small scorpion stinger this time. So apparently you can get some loot from the harpies, but it's not much. Okay, another empty loot pile. I don't understand what's going on there. That's kind of weird. Anyway. Alright, there's a uh, way down, but it's like really far down. I'm not sure if there's a secret there, but uh, anyway, let's go down this time. Okay, we've came down that way. Let's see here. Okay, we went up this way. We killed the harpy. Huh. Okay, come on. Hmm. Well, I do have a levitate spell. Why not? Let's just try this. Already. Yeah, I need to get me a maybe a slow falling spell too. Maybe that won't cost as much. Okay, ooh. Okay, Griffin's Feather, okay. And, uh, looks like we can go further down here. Oh, back over here, huh? I wonder what's up here then. Let's see. Oh, okay, it just kind of goes all the way down, right? Okay. 
Okay, let's see. We go down here. Let's see here. Well, there's probably more, but we're just doing a little bit of dungeon crawling. So, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and teleport back. We'll access our wagon. Put some stuff away. Yeah, see, I plucked the arrows out of the... I know what, they weren't my arrows, but maybe another... NPC fired arrows at it or something. I don't know. Maybe it just all happens randomly, more than likely. Okay, so anyway, let's rest up. Let's just. Hmm. Well, we'll rest for a good three hours. Get some of our magicka back anyway. And our skills have improved. Okay, so let's see here. Let's get our travel map back out. I guess for now we'll go ahead and head to the capital of Anticlare, which is, of course, Anticlare, I guess. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Let's actually get on our horse and do it. Okay, let's do it. Auntie Claire bound. And I might do a little bit of shopping while I'm here because I'm kind of anxious to see what I can sell. I do have like a holy dagger I'd like to sell and have it out of my inventory for sure because I know I have no use for it because I don't know how you use them it's just something you can find and sell for a good amount of gold which is uh, nice alrighty so anyway has been a while since we've been to Auntie Claire Okay. Uh, let's see here. Got the Fighters Guild. Let's see. Well, there was a shop back that way. What time is it actually? Okay, it is kind of early, so. Well, we'll head over to a shop and then just loiter for a little bit and wait for it to open. If it's a shop worth going into. It is a pawnbroker. We'll definitely... Probably... I'll just loiter for a little bit because I don't think they're open just yet. Loiter for three hours. That'll work. Okay. There we go. And now... We'll come in here first... Oh yeah, I don't think you can buy bandages from a uh, pawnbroker. Oh yeah, I can. There we go. Okay, well, I guess you can buy bandages here. Well, at least I bought one or two, something like that. Oh man, okay, so, oh wait. I forgot you can look in these shelves too. But, nothing I really want. Anyway, we'll just sell to this guy. Alrighty, ooh, a nice Dwarven Battle Axe, nice. And we'll sell copies of books. I don't want to sell both of those. Wish there's a way just to like 
I didn't want all three of these in here. That's weird. Wish there was a way where you could just sell one. Maybe if I hit shift. Shift doesn't work either. Huh. What, maybe control? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, control. There we go. There we go. I just wanted to sell one of them. Might as well sell some copies of these books. Because we don't need the duplicates. We just need the books. Okay, let's see here. We could sell two of these. Already, and sell one of these. One of these. Already, no duplicates. Okay, very good. Well, I'll keep the clothes for now. Let's see. I know I had a. I got two of the same cloaks. I might well get rid of one of them. Don't really think I need the shoes for anything. Or the straps. I gotta quit remembering. I gotta start remembering. To uh, actually quit grabbing all the clothing. I really don't need it. So anyway... We'll sell the Holy Dagger. We should. We're not going to get that much gold for it, so let's just try to sell. But 33.29 is definitely pretty good. Let's hit tab. Let's, uh... Let's up in our wagon first, and then we'll go over here and, uh... Drop about 4,000 into the wagon. So we probably got, like, over 10,000 in the wagon now. Oh, 9,000, okay. But, I mean, we still got a lot of space in our wagon. So that's not going to hurt anything. Alrighty, so I guess we'll go find us a place to stay. Preferably by the eastern gate. So let's, uh, gallop over there. 